Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. How are you? <sighs> okay, so it's the end of the day, and I realize I forgot. Oh, Luther's circling on my lap. I forgot to film an intro for this video, so I'm gonna do it right now. Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trisha if we haven't met, and if we have met, welcome back. How are you? Welcome to our crafting advent calendar, our beautiful 2021 Vlogmas. I honestly don't know what I'm doing because today got weird. I tried to do a home repair. You're gonna hear the whole story while I put on makeup. You're gonna see me with no makeup, which scared cat last time. Do not be scared cat, everything's okay. <laughs> She saw me without makeup on Instagram once and she was like, oh my God, are you okay? <laughs> oh, sorry, that's just so funny. So, and I was like, yeah, I just look like that when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> anyway, I got a bunch of stuff ready to dye. I thought I was gonna be able to dye it, but then I got sidetracked trying to do this home repair thing. You'll hear about it. So I didn't have time. I'll be doing the dyeing tomorrow. I also have to bake cookies tomorrow for our family party. Our family party is Saturday, and then after that, things are gonna quiet down for me a lot. I have to do one more thing, um, like shopping-wise for John, but like the next few days are gonna be super, super wild and crazy as far as getting ready, because I have some cleaning that'll have to be done, not a ton. Um, a lot of cooking, some baking, and wrapping presents. Anyway, let's get this day started slash ended since I don't know what I'm doing today. Okay, let's go. Ooh, you know what else, you guys? Yesterday, I started sewing on that doll dress for Jessica. Well, not the dress. I made her the, um, I don't know, they call them panties. They're just like to cover the diaper. I made them and I was like, I think these are a little too big. So I ordered the next size down pattern. Cause it, there was, this is a 15 to 16 inch style pattern. I think it should have been 13, 14. So I think I might just finish the dress anyway, but is that not the cutest thing? And you guys, I just want to say, I also made her a diaper cause I'm a good mom, but I think I'm just going to finish the dress anyway, even though it'll be too big just so she has it for Christmas. <laughs> is that weird? <laughs> I don't care if it's weird um, and I don't know if you can tell but it is Christmas material it has like ornaments on it That's so cute okay we gotta weigh out some fiber Okay, so this is for the fiber. This is gonna be two and a half pounds. I had to think about the math. So I'm gonna put four teaspoons of citric acid in here. And I'll be able to tell these apart pretty easily because it's Dorset Horn and then BFL Silk. They look and feel very different. Four of the BFL. So I'm going to squeeze. I can squeeze all these in here. It's just going to take me a minute. Get them under the water. All right, okay, so I'm gonna set this aside. I have almost exactly one pound of yarn, which would be a lot easier.
Okay, the light in here is crazy, but I thought I would tell you guys a story while I do this really fast. So, um, it's like the middle of the filming day, okay? And it'll be a quick story because I don't take more than seven minutes to do makeup ever. Like if I'm going to a wedding, seven minutes. <laughs> anyway, so John's been working a ton. It's Christmas, we're tired, you know, He's just working, he's under a lot of pressure at work. His own little business has an extra job. He's just really busy. And um, I thought I would change the sprayer on the kitchen sink because we're doing our own dishes. Our dishwasher's broken, I told you guys that. But it's, um, a guy came, it's still under warranty. So the warranty repairman came, said, it's this, this, whatever, and got the part like 10 days later. So I don't really mind doing dishes, so that's not that big of a deal. But um, got the part like 10 days later, came Monday and put it in, and it does. it's doing the exact same thing. It's definitely not what was wrong. It runs for 14 and a half minutes, basically, and then just turns off, no error code, no nothing. Okay, we called again to get it repaired. But anyway, in the meantime, I'm doing dishes by hand, which I actually don't really mind that much. I mean, obviously it's nice to have a dishwasher available, but it's just the two of us. I don't know what that noise was, but it was scary. Okay, in order to save him some a fussing, whatever, I thought I can handle changing the new, putting in the new sprayer and I need it to do dishes, right? Because ours just wasn't working. It's very annoying. And we've all had the sprayers go bad. For some reason, those things just don't work as long as they should. I went to put the new one on. I can't get the old one off the attachment at the back of the sink. But during all my futzing around, of course I had to turn the water off to the sink so it wasn't like spraying everywhere when I took the head off the new sprayer. Right? Makes sense. I cleaned the head in white vinegar. And then I put the head back on because I was like, well, I can't just leave it off and use the sink because it'll spray all over out of the tube. You know what I mean? So I put the head back on, turn the cold water back on, try the sprayer. It works. Yay. So cleaning it was all it really needed. That's awesome, right? Except then I go to turn on the hot water and the freaking valve thing cracked right off of my hands. No joke. So I... He texted me back and said, I don't think it needs a new, a whole new sprayer. I think it just needs the handle attachment. And I was like, no, good news. I fixed that. Bad news. Now I have to call Bummer. <laughs> he was like, but I was almost in tears because I felt so bad. I was trying to fix it so he wouldn't have to. And what do I do? I cause a new problem. So he called me. And I sent him a picture and I'm like, I'm so sorry. And he said, oh no, I just did that in our bathroom. He was doing something else. And he was like, I just did that in our bathroom. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. Um, and I, he said, send me a picture because you might be able to just turn the hot water on like for what's underneath the valve handle. And so it's plastic. It's literally plastic because he was like, there should be just a metal little square thing that like the handle fits over and you can just turn the square thing with the pliers. No, it is a plastic little thing. That's why it just cracked right off. He's like, don't worry about it. It's okay. I'll come up and <laughs> fix it. But I was almost crying. <laughs> this is what I get for trying to help out. All right, we're gonna pack a few things, go to the post office and then slay the loom. This is why I should never try to help it doesn't look like I'm gonna get to dying today. So tomorrow I have all that fiber ready. First thing in the morning, I'll be dying. Yay! Then we're gonna bake cookies.
We've got 244 yards. I am gonna steam it instead of soaking it because I'll dry faster that way. And hopefully I can start it, I don't know, in the morning or tonight, but isn't it pretty? Just look at that, it's so pretty. It's showing a little kind of like lighter than it really is, but it is so stinking cool. This is gonna make an amazing Christmas tree. So not the day I thought I was gonna have, but you know what? It was fine, it was very productive, and I'm feeling good about it. I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. I'll see you tomorrow, and then we'll be live on Sunday. Is that right? Yeah, tomorrow. And then, yeah, we'll be live on Sunday, two o'clock my time, come visit. I really am gonna craft this time. Last time I was just reading. Just come and hang out. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks. I love you. Bye.